Hey Audrey, how's it going? Hi, sir. It's going all great. How about you? Good, good, good. So, um, tell me, what workout did you do today? Today I did uh, a bit of Pilates and did legs. Oh, okay. Wow. So <laughs> you did that uh, simultaneously? Uh, no. First I did my legs and then I did ended it up with some Pilates workouts for strengthening mm -hmm. again and stability. Wow. And um, <laughs> so do, do you do a lot of uh, yoga and Pilates or is it like a one-off thing? Uh, so I'm I'm not uh, a lot into yoga because yoga is again a whole different thing to look at. But mm -hmm. then again, uh, yeah. So I am a lot into stretching, which I don't want to coincide with yoga because that's not what it is. Right. But then yes, Pilates. So I am a certified mat Pilates instructor as well. Mm -hmm. so recently certified. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> it's a new win on my uh, uh, on my CV, <laughs> you can well say. Done, well and done. so. So I practice Pilates now as part of my workout routine and uh, and then my regular weight trainings and all of that. That's mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah. So, okay, tell me about your journey. How do you get started? That, that's a very beautiful question, Sid. It's always a question that I've been telling a lot of people because they've asked me the same thing. So mm -hmm. basically, uh, so, so I've done my MBA HR just to start off with, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, so fitness has always been my passion. Even when I used to work, like even when I used to go to college back then, I used to, you know, somehow squeeze in time for my workouts, which is uh, what was always constant. Right. But then again, you know, life took different turns. And after my MBA, I actually got placed in, uh, you know, as an HR with the corporates. And I was working for about, say, a year and a half almost, right? So, right. uh, so I have a pretty much uh, HR uh, background, but then again, uh, what happened is, uh, it was a happy realization that I had that I just came to a conclusion for the fact I knew that, uh, you know, HR uh, corporate was just not my thing. Mm -hmm. So it was a very big leap of faith, you know, that I took, and uh, then I entered into the fitness industry. So I, of course, I contemplated and I uh, thought on, you know, like what next and how do I go about it and everything. But then, uh, yes, the leap of faith was pretty strong enough. And uh, so I decided that I want to make my passion as my profession. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. researched and then uh, I, got, I got a certification. And that's how I dived in deeper into fitness. And yeah, here I am. Wow. And um, <laughs> so what did FAM say about this huge change going from a corporate job in HR to <laughs> you know the fitness industry okay <laughs> yeah no that 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 pretty much is a very valid question for you to ask because if anyone out there is aspiring to uh, to have a complete switch in domain you know right mm -hmm. from the corporates to a fitness industry right. then of course yes there are going to be a lot of hurdles uh, you know coming in because uh, initially my family was definitely not or uh, okay with the decision of course because you know again they were like you did an mba and you were working with the corporates and then now fitness and all of it so it really takes a lot for you to uh, you know get them to really understand what are you aspiring to do so right. what I, I i i personally chose uh, to just uh, make my actions speak more than giving a verbal justification mm -hmm. so i i sort of had a lot of hurdles yes my dad wasn't speaking uh, with me for uh, I don't know a few months you can say so what? yeah it, it was it yeah <laughs> it it was a very uh, cold situation kind of that was created I mm -hmm. I must admit that but then uh, again uh, you know uh, when, when I when I see it all right now I, I I just feel that you know it was all worth it I mean having having to see the situation that I am in today and they are more than happy with what I'm doing Mm -hmm. And they feel very proud to see me work so hard and do good in the field that I've chosen to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, your hard work and your passion towards what you do, your perspective towards your career, uh, it really, uh, you know, pays off. So yeah, that's that's the one most important thing. Your focus mm -hmm. and your or dedication really matters a lot. You just cannot let it go in the air just because you've changed your profession. It has to be really very firm otherwise then you know everything just is futile definitely definitely yeah <laughs> that's great that's great good you've taken up um such a challenge 
So, um, Audrey, why don't you yeah. tell us about some of the weight training myths that people often have? Correct, correct. So, uh, so, so this might be a lot more inclined towards the uh, female population right. because, uh, you know, being in the fitness industry for the past three years, three and a half years now down the line, I've got a lot of questions thrown at me as a trainer saying that uh, from, from females especially that ma'am, if we do weight training, we don't have muscles nahi hai, mm -hmm. and you know, all mm -hmm. of that. So I just want to tell everybody out there that you know, weight training say up come muscle badega and you'll start looking very masculine, you just like a man. That is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. A B because uh the hormones present in a male as that are present in a female are totally different. And mm -hmm. you know, unless you do not uh you know inject something that's uh, external or probably yeah. a steroid or something, which is again I don't want to get into that again right now. No comments on that. Mm -hmm. And yes, apart from that, you uh, you do not entail uh, you know, a huge muscle mass like that of men. So mm -hmm. all I want to tell to everybody out there is that weight train because gaining strength is very, very important. And muscles and all of that, again, is an amalgamation of your workout and diet as well, right? Mm -hmm. So that is a whole different story. But then again, myths of a weight training is that if you feel that you are, if females feel that you are going to gain muscles like that of men after you weight train, that is not uh, it. That's not what the case is. You, right. You've got to weight train because you've got to get strong. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is the base of uh, everything, basically. Strength is very important. So yes, weight train and don't think too much. <laughs> right, right, right. So, yeah. um, so basically what I feel some of the people... Um, have this perception is because you know they see you know even when you talk about weight training they see a lot of these muscular women on instagram Correct. and they're like really Correct. turned off by that and uh, they assume that you know once you start you know pumping weights or whatever Correct. you're going to become yeah. like them and many a lot of uh, you know women don't want to look like them right Absolutely, and, uh, absolutely. They so don't, I totally agree to yeah. what you say because mm -hmm. uh, I, I, like once upon a time, I was one of those women as well. So I can totally empathize with how they feel, yes. <laughs> right? But then again, uh, you know what I feel at the end of the day, it's all about, uh, you know, uh, the lack of knowledge that you have behind different forms of workouts or mm -hmm. different techniques of uh, workouts that, you know, that, it ha that effect that it has on your body. Right. So it's all about a study, basically. Right. And mm -hmm. all of those females out there who uh, who are really masculine and, you know, they look a little, uh, you know, they have a lot of muscles build up like uh, like that of men. Right. Mm -hmm. So that they are a whole different case is because uh, they are they are involved into a particular sport. Right. right. So when mm -hmm. so when you're doing figure or when you're doing bikini, it's like a body show. Right. right. So it is the demand of the sport. So you uh, you cannot. It's inevitable. Right. And that is a whole different case is because not each and every individual wants to go into bodybuilding or wants to go into a figure or a bikini show. Right. right. So uh, you do needn't actually uh, aspire to have a body like that of those females. So right. it's all about the choice at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Right. So see, because they are into that profession, they cannot avoid it because that's the stage body. It demands you to be to look like right. that. And, right. you know, which is why they've got to work in that direction. So that is that's what it so, is. So, uh, what do they, what do they do different? Do they work out more? Do they you know take uh, roids or what? What exactly do they do uh, different that they look so muscular? Is it just putting in more so, hour, more hours of workout? Yes, yes, of course. More hours of workout, focusing on different muscles really deeply, having mm -hmm. an extremely clean nutrition that coincides with the type of workout that they are doing, right? right? And third, they are really under a good professional guidance of mm -hmm. a coach who really has, a, you know, deep knowledge about how to work with different kind of uh, steroids or uh, or different kind of diets how how right. will a particular diet fit in a particular female's body now again when i say steroids i don't want to say that each and every female out there has taken steroids because there right. are some who genetically have a very uh, you know strong body to look at i mean they mm -hmm. have not actually taken steroids again right, right? but then again yes uh, you in case even in future for anybody out there who's listening to this 
if you are planning on taking steroids due to whatever goals you have in mind please pay minute attention to the person who is guiding you through the steroid journey a mm -hmm. b please make sure that person is certified in or uh, you know he's a steroid specialist or he has a very deep knowledge about steroids because i don't right so i don't yeah. want to comment on that part right yeah. because when you are on steroids it's, it's very important for you to know uh, you know how you've got to burn it out of your body how to utilize it to to attain best results right yeah. otherwise you might yeah. just get yourself into trouble so it's all about the study so mm -hmm. it's all about the knowledge that you have and how you know to apply it where and when and how right so right of course well said yeah um okay so what do you prefer weight uh, training or crossfit <laughs> oh you've given a very tough uh, <laughs> so i don't know choice oh well can i say both <laughs> you can because i have a follow-up question to this so okay so yeah both <laughs> wow okay so um <laughs> how do you balance it like um you know if somebody is given you know okay i'll give you my case where um, yeah. after i was done playing tennis professionally i thought uh, you know let me get into you know bodybuilding because you know as a tennis player whatever we, you know weight training you know everything gets burned out uh, you know at the court mm. so mm. everyone even though they can lift heavy they're like really lean so yeah. yeah so i had this uh, thing where you know should i work out like four days a week and then do two days of functional or you know do i do three days of functional and three days of weight training and then if i do functional on a specific day what muscle huh? groups do i train the next day so how do you you know correct. balance it correct okay yeah that yeah that's a very nice question of how you've got to plan your workout right, right. so see uh, see for an individual who's into sports so okay. if i differentiate amongst people right so right. different sports have a different demand for type of exercises right, right? so if you look at athletes right so yeah. they athletes overtrain okay because again that's a sport that demands you usually right. they've got to build up on stamina they've got to build up on endurance and a hell lot of other things lined up right. right so they they have weight training as part of their fitness also they have extreme cardios okay also over training against that that is a part of an athlete right. so now when it comes to an 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 uh, a normal individual who wants to just uh, train to remain fit mm -hmm. so i would generally this is a very generalized suggestion right so mm -hmm. might not apply for every individual but then generalized so yeah uh, in a week you can keep say about two days for your cardio right. any two days Mm -hmm. right and and you keep separate uh, the remaining days for your weight training so i generally prefer uh, so if you're a beginner then i would suggest initially you go in for a full body uh, thingy like you know like the upper body and the lower body every yeah. day you train uh, tiny muscles a little and don't overstress yourself yeah. right first and second once you reach the intermediate level probably then you can um, you know uh, shift to a it's called a split workout so split workout is where in you, you you train your upper body separately and then you train your lower body separately right, right. so again and then so on and so forth and then again it's it's totally a, your choice whether you want to do an isolation training isolation training which means that you want to separately work the tiny muscles biceps or triceps or shoulders right like people have cst as one part one day right. and then back and biceps one day legs one day that day so you can mix and match always prefer one big muscle and one small muscle so that you don't over uh, you know strain your body so if you're doing legs probably you can take triceps with your legs as a combination or biceps right. that way so like that right. so when you say cardio do you mean cardio as in running or uh, and or uh, and cycling or do you mean cardio as in functional training cardio correct so see cardio is cardio right so right. It, it can be done in any form like i i being a, a body beats instructor again i i am into dance fitness as well so mm -hmm. my version of cardio is dance right? right so anything that gets your heart rate high up is basically part of cardio okay mm -hmm. where there are multiple muscles or where, where there is where there are multiple muscles in action there is functional right. training okay mm -hmm. like you have functional training batches and everything going around in right. gyms right so functional training again is part of cardio is because you uh, you're having plyometric movements plyometric which means you're jumping you're getting your heart rate high you're running around you're using your body's momentum a lot right mm -hmm. so all of these things are part of cardio 
Okay, so it can be anything for any individual. Cardio can be cycling, rowing, right, or right. skipping right. for that matter, running. Right. So anything, anything that basically pumps you up with your heart rate uh, mm-hmm. is it's part of your cardio. You can choose whichever you want to do. Great, great. All yeah. right. Um, yeah. Okay, let's move on to yeah. losing weight through cardio. Uh-huh. What are your thoughts on that? Only through cardio. Only through cardio. Yes, of course. See, cardio is an intense form of a workout where uh, you tend to burn a lot of calories, right? So that definitely right. aids to fat loss. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, weight loss, again, I wouldn't get into that. But then fat loss, yes. So because initially you always have fat loss, which again then leads to weight loss, right? right. They do different things. Yeah. So uh, yes, uh, you, you do tend to burn calories. So you can lose uh, weight and cardio, undoubtedly, yes. But then again, uh, there are other, uh, you know, uh, concepts to it as well. That is, if you do intense amount of cardio regularly or, uh, uh, what do you say, a lo- long, elongated sessions of cardio, what's going to happen is you're going to definitely build up on your stamina, energy, and endurance level. Right. But your strength is going to go for a toss. That is for mm-hmm. sure. Because cardio does not help you to build muscles, right? right? muscles is something uh, that helps you uh, to gain strength right mm-hmm. so muscles and strength is something that coincide each other right mm-hmm. so they are very equal, uh, they are very closely proportional to each other right so the better you build muscles the 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 better you'll be uh, you know working on your strength mm-hmm. and if you have strength again control balance stability is something that comes into picture immensely right because mm-hmm. your muscles are strong enough to uh, to balance your body in a correct manner Right. Mm-hmm. So that which is why I always suggest any of my clients, uh, uh, I mean, like anywhere, whenever I encounter people, I tell them always have a mixture of cardio and weight training or body weight strength training for that matter as part of your routine. Never keep only cardio as weight training because then aage ja ke, you know you feel a little weak. Aapke limbs weak ho jate hai. Mm-hmm. You feel a little lethargic because there's no strength. Right. right? So always with an cardio, just team it up with uh with weight training, mm-hmm. which is a must again to mm-hmm. to uh to you know sort of make it all complete. Right. Yeah. Great. And uh, yes. Do do you take protein powder? Oh yes, of course. Sure. I can't live without that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do take protein powder. Yes, I do. And uh, should people, um, people have issues with the affordability because, you know, they recommend two scoops a day and then it's like, you know, a, a, norm, a decent protein powder like on or whatever, huh. they cost Correct. like, you know, 3.5k and then um, yeah. they get done in less than a month or so. And um, it, so is, is it necessary? Yeah, so that's a, I, I, I just knew that kind of was the next question coming up when you mentioned protein. So mm-hmm. yeah, uh, so yes, see, it is not a compulsion that you must have protein, protein right. powder, right? Okay, but then again, so here's the thing, right? So when you work out, so all the proteins consists of amino acids, right? So right. all of the amino acids that are present in a protein are idly present in your body already. Okay, you're right. not you're not intaking anything foreign, which is not present in your body, right? Mm-hmm. It's already all there in your body. Right. But the reason why you intake protein powder is because when you're working out, you're utilizing those nutrients and amino acids and proteins that are already there in your body. So you mm-hmm. need to recuperate them by you know taking protein. Okay, mm-hmm. now now there are some people who don't prefer to take protein some people are vegetarian so because they right. feel it's animal fat and everything right, right. so they, they go for plant proteins and, and right. all of that okay but if you can really strike a correct balance uh, by by intaking all the 12 amino acids that are present in a protein in your everyday diet mm-hmm. right so like having your share of eggs your fi- fibers and all of the foods that contain a lot of other proteins Right. Right. If you're consuming all of that and you strike to and you strike that balance in your daily diet, then mm-hmm. you don't really need to take protein powder. Okay, right. but now here's the catch. So what happens is generally 
you don't tend to get all of those nutrients in your daily diet that people consume kuch na kuch chhoot jata hai and every time you don't you cannot strike that balance right okay. so because of that people take protein mm-hmm. right so as a nahi hai that you know kuch nahi hone wala hai if you don't take protein that's not that's not it right so it's all about preference but then yes if you, just be mindful that if you are not consuming protein be very mindful on your diet be careful on what you're eating and just just uh, sort of have a note on what have you intake and, and how much is the amount of protein you've consumed and then you're good to go right right and uh, how do you know uh, the, how do you usually select the brands basically you don't have to name them but uh, because yeah. so- <laughs> i was just about to say yeah. i can't name them huh? yeah yeah so how do you go about it like uh, is it through referral or reference sorry or uh, uh because there's yeah. so much stuff on the internet and you know correct correct so yeah it's 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 mostly through reference yeah the which is which is right so i i i so i have a lot of peer friends in the fitness industry also who who like you know uh, competed and who and who've been uh, and who've used a lot of protein brands in their uh, right. you know fitness uh, Uh, journey as of now so right. i ask them and then and then probably see if i want to go in for a new protein brand which i have never tried mm-hmm. then i would might as well spend a little more money but get in get a small bottle first to see how it works for me mm-hmm. right and then uh, i can go go on so there are a couple of brands that i've used uh, till now and they've worked pretty well for me how do you know they're working then, yes uh, <laughs> pardon how do you know they're working yeah they working well is because i'm not having uh, so, so see some people tend to get some rashes if they're allergic to something right okay in that so kuch kuch hota hai kuch kuch log allergic rehte hai kuch substance ko so you have to be mindful of that so yeah. that because those allergies can happen even when, even when you're intaking your normal food if you're allergic to something you can just get some rashes or okay. whatever like you know so like that and it works well is because i can see the difference in my muscle gaining and my strength and my energy you know it doesn't it doesn't kind of allow me to sulk down so yeah then you then you know it's working for you right yeah right so are you always motivated to work out or like is it because fitness is your passion yes which is right said yes fitness is my passion so yes it i it it it's if you know i've always been driven towards that so yeah and uh, but what about people who uh, just want to work out for the sake of you know staying healthy and uh, they may not have that motivation so how do they keep it up correct correct so uh, so here's the thing right so uh, i i feel that at the end of the day it is all about priorities right mm-hmm. so if an individual so so here's the thing so for all the people out there who are listening to this right so you just just give it a thought uh, on an individual so a is an individual who works out diligently very uh, regularly you know and very dedicatedly with his or her routine and b is an individual who always plans on working out but fails to work out because of a number of reasons is not very motivated right, right? the difference between a and b is that an individual who is working out regularly is intrinsically motivated right, right. so he is he is na- he she is naturally driven because mm-hmm. you know so because see it, so because he or she knows that what what are the what are the repercussions of working of having a healthy body right and what will happen just in case i don't work out right, right? so there is an awareness basically mm-hmm. right and what happens is with the, with the, with the other individual who's really kind of salt and really wants to work out is aware but cannot materialize right? right so again then i say it's all about priority so if a person really wants to stay motivated a person has to really make up his or her mind very strong enough and you know consider workout to be as part of his or her lifestyle and just for a temporary affair right right i have a very uh, quick illustration here right mm-hmm. so in case an individual is getting really late for office right, right. so uh, if, if 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 example if for example you're getting very late to office so you at the most at the most you might forget to wear your tie or you might forget to wear your watch right as you're right. rushing mm-hmm. right but however uh, uh, you know uh, late you are will you forget to wear your shirt no 
that's definitely not going to happen right you right. will so come what me you know however late you're getting you definitely you will be wearing your shirt right that's why right. because it's inevitable you know that right. you have to wear it so it's just like that so it's it's just like you know uh, the concept of uh, your shirt <laughs> right mm-hmm. yeah interesting interesting <laughs> so yeah what do you suggest um can a healthy lifestyle be maintained only through diet or only by working out or does it have uh-huh. to be a balance do they have to go hand uh-huh. in hand correct correct so uh yeah that is a very valid question to ask and again yes not not imposing a lot of things on people out there because sometimes uh, striking a balance between the two uh, might just sound very easy for anyone to speak but then again yeah. to bring it into mm-hmm. action is really very difficult i i totally understand that part because i've dealt with a lot of other clients who are working with the corporates and handling the job stress the work mm-hmm. stress family mm-hmm. responsibilities and everything it really gets on you sometimes right mm-hmm. so uh, yes which is uh, which is which is right i mean okay but then uh, if you if you if you again think of it right so if if you are not able to maintain a very so ideally speaking yes having a good diet and having a uh, you know a good regular workout will help you get a healthy lifestyle okay but again if you are unable to strike a balance between these two then compensate somewhere for something right mm-hmm. so if in case you know you've missed out your workout from past few days and you are already into workout but you've missed it because of some reasons and number of reasons then you just make sure you are not having a lot of cheat meals during that or uh, during those days because there is no chance for you to burn that out right, right. so somewhere right. or the other uh, i would suggest to uh, all the i mean you know normal people living out there who uh, are going through a very busy routine in life that yes right. you can strike a balance somewhere or the other either by having a really good workout done for yourself uh, and then uh, you know having like a moderate here and there diet utna utna thoda chal chal jayega Okay, yeah. but then uh, again somewhere or the other you have got to balance something somewhere otherwise then it's all going to go haywire so mm-hmm. yes some exceptions are okay but then you've got to know um, what level you've got to keep them at right 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 yeah. um yeah so i had a follow up question to this so yes. i'll i'll give an example of myself and i'm sure there were plenty of people like me um uh-huh. so during the lockdown you know the april may uh, months um there's a situation where you know you feel that you you know obviously uh, you i mean many of us were done with our protein powders and stuff like that and um, mm-hmm. you know it wasn't always possible to go out to go uh, you know and uh, buy non veg you know chicken mutton or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. tell me about it yeah that was really bad yeah right. Oh. and uh so you know thoughts start getting into my head that is there any point of you know weight training or you know doing these uh, body workouts because anyway you're not going to be able to keep up with your diet so the weight training is going to you know going to go for a waste because you're not keeping up with the diet but you're working out so okay. what what do you suggest in situations like this so even if you let's say uh, you feel that you haven't worked out the whole day and uh, you suddenly realize you you know you're about to sleep and you're like you want to be consistent and then you like let me at least you know put in like 50 push ups but then you think oh no but i haven't uh, i don't have any protein to eat after that so does it make any sense mm-hmm. to work out what do you think we should do mm-hmm. correct so here the one thing that you should be doing is first of all not thinking too much <laughs> because sometimes that really complicates a lot of things okay mm-hmm. first second if you don't have some things as part of your diet at handy just eat what's there right. okay so by by eating what's there is like of course i don't mean to say uh you know go and have vada pav go and have misal right mm-hmm. so i mean not not like that but then yes you can make do with whatever is it that you have at home mm-hmm. sabji dal right. chawal okay bhakri जो जनरली आपके घर में जो खाना बनता है वो तो आप खा ही सकते हो ठीक है तो सी नाउ 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 ओके इफ 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 वी आर टॉकिंग हियर अबाउट चिकन right yeah. then let's talk about vegetarians pure vegetarians how yeah. and i i have i've met a lot of vegetarians who have got really good muscles so what about right. them right right that again so how are they managing that right mm-hmm. so that that's one thing to note down second of all uh, see 
when you're having a vegetarian diet, right? So your protein intake is going to be a little haywire just because, uh, you know, getting the complete protein from veggies is a little difficult, but it's not impossible. Yeah. Right. So somewhere or the other, unless you're not having something that's extremely junky every time, right. then your body is going to go for a toss, irrespective of the workout. Right? Right. But if you are having ghar ka khana, achha, healthy food, the dal chawal, right? You're having, so you're already getting your carbs, you're getting your protein from dal, although that's incomplete protein, you don't have all the amino acids right. present in, in vegetarian dal, but then again, you are getting your protein share, you are getting the carbs, if you have salads along with it, you are getting your fibers there again, mm-hmm. veggies, uh, right? So you, you are having, uh, you, you are consuming healthy food, right? right. Because you, uh, because because you, you've also got to be prepared of exceptional situations that come your way, just mm-hmm. like 2020 uh, lockdown situation has come our way, <laughs> right? right? So, uh, so nothing stops, right? Yeah, things may change. You might have a new normal, right? Like the regular normal might just take turns and, and you might just have a new normal. Mm-hmm. But, but that's okay. You know, it's just that it's not just the end of it. So is what I think, right? right? So just because some things that you used to do regularly are not at handy right now, then you stop doing what you used to do is going to make the situation even worse. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 So right. just continue and just make do with whatever healthy things is easily available at your home and then uh, you can go on. Yeah. Right. So basically doing something is always better than, yes. you know, nothing at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Other than sitting and fedding and cripping over it and, you know, not doing anything about it is right. going to make a situation even worse. So, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Off the topic, suppose you want uh-huh. to work on a specific thing, right? Suppose you want to work <laughs> on your flexibility. Do you, mm-hmm. um, should you, let's say, you know, you're like really stiff or, um, you have no muscles at all and you've just been doing, uh, you know, yoga or whatever. Do you stop what you were doing and just focus on the other thing and bring that up uh, completely or do you still have to find a way to balance it? Suppose you want to specifically work on getting, you know, more flexible. Do you Correct. completely stop weight training and then just focus on yoga for a month or two or do you no. balance it? How do you go about no. it? No, 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 no. Yeah. So again, just, just again to clear another myth of people out there. Uh, mm-hmm. So people uh, really, you know, uh, uh, take flexibility and yoga uh, to to, uh, to similar aspects, right? right? Of course, you do need to have flexibility in order to do, uh, you know, really nice and precise yoga yoga asanas, right? Mm-hmm. But then again, uh, yoga asan is a whole different a facet of fitness like you know which really needs a deep knowledge of not only flexibility but a you know a lot of other things meditation body mind right. soul or uh, relaxation you know so so i don't want to get into all of that details is because right. i'm not well aware not into uh, yoga that much right, right? so right. again but just that i want to tell that don't coincide uh, flexibility with yoga right mm-hmm. first okay yeah. and second of all yes Sid, so coming to your question that yes you said if i want to work on flexibility will i stop other things no 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 so that's not so always even when you want to get flexible right so right. so functional uh strength right, right. then mobility okay is plays a very major role of uh, for your uh, body to get flexible Right. Okay. So it's very important to not only focus on flexibility, like like isolation, only flexibility and um, not pay heed to other strength training and agility and mobility. Mm-hmm. So that's not about mm-hmm. it. Yes. But there's one thing, if you want to focus on flexibility, spend a little more time on it if you want to. Right. right. That might help you better. Right. But then never forget that when it comes to fitness, everything is interconnected, right? Because it's your body. Right. right, a lot of a lot of muscles are connected to to muscles which you might not even know of. Right, right. so everything needs to be balanced. So every uh, thing needs to needs to strike that balance. So if you want right. to work on flexibility, of course you also have to have strength because you know flexibility uh, involves a lot of other things, mobility, strength. Everything is required in order for you to get a flexible body. Right, mm-hmm. so it's not right. just about stretching, but it's about a lot of other science behind that. So right. yes want to make your body flexible or any anything for that matter strong or flexible or mobile or agile work on all aspects equally but just focus more on the aspect you want to uh, work on 
that will help you get in, get better at it. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay. What are your thoughts on fitness blogging? And is there still a lot of? I know there are like hundreds of fitness bloggers already. Is there still a lot of scope uh-huh. for people to you know start out with this journey of theirs and probably you know possibly try and make it their um, business, make a business yeah. out of it? Ha ha ha. Okay, uh, so uh, said to be really candid about this, I don't really know a lot about uh, blogging is because I've really, really not involved myself a lot into that. I've, I've mm-hmm. read a couple of uh, like random blogs I've come across, like right. some bloggers on Instagram and right. uh, and stuff like that. But then I definitely uh, would uh, not want to rather comment on 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 that part is because I'm not really well versed with the whole blogging, uh, you know, thing. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know how that whole Thing is going to work out for any individual so, right yeah right. so Fair. i don't really want to generalize it too much you know Fair because enough. again it, it might have different integrities so i'm not aware definitely, of that definitely. Yeah. Fair enough. yeah great so yeah fitness as a career what options do you have a fitness do you, do you become a fitness coach or you know is it um what what options do you have mm-hmm so there are a lot of options so i mean um, you know you can specialize yourself like like example that is in fitness it's a, so it's a you can uh, it bifurcates into a lot of things right so pilates this pilates again as part of fitness so basically you can uh, you can venture into a lot of different things so you can get yourself trained into there is there is a special training for kettlebells right kettlebell right. training then uh, then yoga then there's air yoga then mm-hmm. there is uh, mat pilates again pilates is the whole whole course and mat pilates is just the one that's done on the mat then there is there is again uh, acro yoga right mm-hmm. so there's a lot of other facets in, that you can actually involve yourself into and get certified and keep upgrading your cv uh, you yeah. know as and when go uh, further so there is a lot of scope you've just got to explore and just got to know what's going outside there in the fitness industry and yeah you can just fit in very easily wonderful wonderful yeah. um okay uh what what do you think the trends are in terms of uh, you know i'm sure you've interacted with uh, hundreds of thousands of people and uh, do they you know prefer to you know have different doing uh, you know, do they prefer to you know do different fitness activities every day or do people you know just like to stick to a particular thing like do they want to do weight training every day do they want to do functional oh, do they want to yeah, dance yeah, yeah. you know just as a fitness routine do they like to mix it up or do they like to okay. you know focus uh, on a specific so your voice is cutting okay hello so yeah um i like to know what the fitness trends are uh, amongst people i'm sure you've uh, interacted with thousands of people in your um, fitness coaching um do people like to mix uh, mix up their training where they have you know a few weight training classes a few functional a few dance classes or do they like to you know just uh-huh. stick to one fitness routine uh-huh. that is either choose to you know just to focus yeah. on zumba or just to focus mm-hmm. on functional training what what do they do usually correct 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 i get it okay so uh, so so exploring different facets of fitness or different forms of workout is very subjective to every individual mm-hmm. right so there are these few set of people who've got their workout all planned and they end at the gym with the with the notion that okay i have to I have to go. I have to do my biceps in my right. biceps, such and such exercise. So you know they have it all planned, and they they have that. So they say they gonna churn that whole routine for themselves, and that works for them, right? Mm-hmm. So, the, but there are some people again who need variations in workout. Who just sort of like you know pep it up a bit. But then they they try out a different uh, form of uh, uh, fitness. I'm going to yoga. I'm going to dancing. Right, mm-hmm. like that so i i personally also am uh, one of one of them like there there there, there are these some odd days when i have planned that okay they i'll be doing my bicep and then when i enter i'm like oh no i i i just feel like dancing you know right. like <laughs> there are right. these days so mm-hmm. that's very subjective to individuals i mean like oh yeah that is that is that is very uh, normal so you can either follow a fixed routine which also mm-hmm. is fine you can keep changing also which again uh, is fine but then again right. yes 
this might uh, have exceptions in cases where an individual is preparing for a competition right, right? so if a person is preparing for a competition and um, he or she has got a competition in few days down the line then uh, he or she is told not to do cardio at all so that time you have to follow a fixed regime like a fixed and a strict regime of right. workout right yeah. you cannot just do cardio anytime or anywhere like you know any mm-hmm. hour of the day right. because then it really affects your or uh, your you know that that the stage presence it did that, that kind of uh, it, 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 it takes that for a uh, toss and because right. when you have a lot of muscle loss happens your muscles don't look mm-hmm. defined all of these things are again nitty-gritties but then yeah they are they will matter if you are preparing for a competition which mm-hmm. demands you to do a particular form of a workout then you stick to it is what i would say but then if you are free flowing you don't really have a competition like that you want to just explore and then you're good to go i you mean you're more than welcome to go and explore right right so uh, yeah. even the uh, people who aren't really focusing on competitions um, even if uh-huh. they do have goals you know certain goals uh, even going away from i mean going off track and then uh, they need not you know interfere with the goal they probably just extend it by a month or two right yes 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 absolutely absolutely yeah you're right you're right yeah if they really are head strong and very stringent about no i have to get it done in such and such time then yes right. they've got to uh, mm-hmm. churn their routine that day right great yeah all right um audrey thank you so much okay. yes sir yes so pleasure much. pleasure is all uh, mine sir yeah it was uh, amazing we learned i'm sure the listeners will pick up a lot of gems from this um uh uh-huh. thank you thank you yes i'm glad thank you so much for having me over and this really means a lot and uh, yes everybody for everybody out there who's listening to this stay motivated stay fit and you know just keep smiling and stay safe wonderful so audrey why yeah. don't you tell us uh, about you where people can find you and um, are you taking classes online <laughs> oh, now so the legit the legit closing huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay yeah. well okay so uh, people you can find me on instagram uh, as odds fit page a u d s underscore fit page so that's my uh, fitness account i have two accounts on uh, instagram once you open my fitness account it will direct you to the other account automatically and uh, yes i'll be soon starting off with my online functional training batches and bolly beats uh, uh, dance fitness as well so uh, just stay tuned and you'll get to know a lot more from my page of what's going to be happening next that's great i'll uh, have the links on the show notes so people do follow her page yep. if you like and um, yeah audrey i'll see you soon